Now to the Milwaukee police officer who is going to the Super Bowl. Officer Herb Davis, a lifelong fan of the Cincinnati Bengals. He gets to see his team play in the big game in Los Angeles. Yes, his family had been trying to reach his goal for the tickets with a GoFundMe page. But as Tom Durian shows us, a local company stepped in to save the day. Tom? Yeah, Shed and Steve, as you guys know, we've been working with Officer Herb Davis's family for a couple of days. They are some of the nicest, most humble people that you'll ever meet. And today, they got a big surprise. You don't know how blessed you are sometimes until you finally get, you know, kicked in the rear, you know, sometimes and it makes you realize. Officer Herb Davis thought he arrived at Radio City to talk about the shooting last Thursday that put him in the hospital. It was life changing. You know, it was uh, something that I'll live with for the rest of my life, but I am happy that I am here. I'm happy that I was given a second chance. He did talk about that, telling John Mercure from 620 WTMJ about the bulletproof vest that he was wearing. Did that save your life? I, be I would believe so. But what he didn't know is that the radio station and its parent company, Good Karma Brands, had big plans for this Bengal super fan. We have made arrangements for you to be at the Super Bowl in Los Angeles to see your Cincinnati Bengals, and it's all because of you. Airfare, hotel, and tickets for two. The gesture left Officer Davis speechless. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Davis's fiance isn't much of a football fan, so that made his travel partner choice pretty easy. It's definitely my dad. Oh, my dad is my best friend, um, and as much as I am happy and excited about this, this would mean the world to him just as much as it would mean to me. Davis knows there are two other law enforcement officers in the Milwaukee area that are dealing with the same recovery he is. MPD Detective Andrew Wilkowitz and Sheriff's Deputy Christian Alamante, both shot in the line of duty recently. Football fans or not, you know, they want to come. I wanted to be able to get them there. And even if not, if they're not football fans, I would love the opportunity to be able to donate to a cause that they would want. You know, at the end of the day, we're all brothers. We're all law enforcement. You know, we all stick together. Certainly do. And so Officer Davis hasn't really quite figured out how he's going to do all that, the details on that, but he says he hopes to use the funds that his family has raised on the GoFundMe we've been talking about for the last mm -hmm. couple of days to be able to make that happen for the other guys. Such a humble man. Yeah. I heard his whole entire interview. And how has this really changed his perspective on his career and his life? He told me, I asked him that question. I mean, do you want to go back and do this as soon as you are recovered? 100% doesn't hesitate at all, wants to be back on the street. Obviously, there's the investigation that has to, to play out, his recovery has to play out, and he's feeling much better, by the way. But he says 100% wants to get back out there. I bet he'll feel even better when the Bengals win the championship. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> all right, now that game, the Super Bowl, between the Los Angeles Rams and the aforementioned Cincinnati Bengals, less than two weeks away, Sunday, February 13th, kickoff scheduled 530, right here on TMJ4.